I spoke to the general manager, um, it was yesterday, the day before, and she explained that they, she had a meeting with the staff and she was explaining to them the matter of the um, school being overstaffed. And so teachers began to, to question the matter, you know, what will be happening to them if it is that they're overstaffed, what will happen to those teachers who are overstaffed? And is it that they're going to be retrenched, you know, what is going to, to happen to them? And so out of concern then, those teachers reached out to the union and we are aware that there is, a, as I said, there's a draft policy on redundancy that the ministry has, has um, sent out to us. It has not been finalized yet. We are also aware that some time ago, um, presentations were made from two institutions, or two schools, I should say, um, with a request for redundancy. So it's not that that word isn't out there. The word is out there, but, um, and so the teachers are concerned. We are fully aware as well, and I don't want anyone to think that we don't know how the process works, that it is the Teaching Services Commission who has the final say in determining whether a teacher is terminated or not. But the concern is there because of the matter of overstaffing and also because of the fact that as schools or as managements um, submit, schools submit requests for replacement of teachers who would go and leave. Um, they are being told that replacements would not be honored. So the teachers were being informed that they will be having larger classes because of those um, other teachers not being replaced. And so the, it, it was an entire um, discussions. And so it might have been, I don't know, the manner in which it was, it was brought across to them that raised the concern, but we had to deal with the matter.